Hello, my name is Stephen Wilkinson from microscopes.com.au and today I would like to demonstrate to you our ASZ 400 series stereo zoom microscopes. Now the basic configuration is our uh, stereo zoom um, upright microscope. This comes with a, an LED powered upright stand, so it has a, a top light and a bottom light, both variable intensity LED. Uh, with the stand we have the, the coarse focusing, so you can focus your specimen. And then we have the all important optical head. Now, the difference between a stereo microscope and a stereo zoom microscope is on a, a stereo microscope, you have fixed magnification rate, um, fixed magnifications are generally 20 times and 40 times. Now with the stereo zoom microscope, such as the ASZ 400, we have a continuous zooming range from 10 times all the way to 45 times. So you get a magnification range of 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, all the way to 45 times. Now this is controlled by the, the zooming knobs here. And on this microscope we have um, interpulpary uh, adjustments for the eye tubes because everyone, not everyone's eyes are the same, equidistant apart. So we have that adjustment and also the standard 10 times um, eyepieces, they have diopter adjustments on on each eyepiece, so you can get both eyepieces in, into focus the same. Now, we have these available in a trinocular configuration and binocular configuration. This is a trinocular, so with the trinocular head, you can fit a, a digital microscope camera. Uh, this one, for example, this is your binocular configuration. But if you do want to buy a digital camera, we recommend you opt for the trinocular. Now we have a, a large range of optional digital cameras. Uh, this range is our standard range and these are available in 2 megapixel, 5 megapixel or 12 megapixel. Uh, these are USB powered, they come with software, so basically what it means is you can view your specimen onto your computer screen without looking down the eyepieces. It's often, um, people often buy them for a classroom situation where if you've got a lot of people you want to demonstrate um, your specimen. So you connect your USB powered camera to your computer. Okay, so we also have um, some stereo zooming boom stands. So this is the um, this is the smaller of our boom stands. So these are often used in the electronics industry for looking at PCBs. Um, again available in the trinocular or binocular configuration. These are adjustable on this particular model, we've actually put the, the our new dome illuminator. Now this offers superior illumination. Comes with the um, the variable um, power source as well. Now on our website, we do have some comparison images uh, showing the difference between using the, the dome illuminator and the LED ring light which we've got on the larger boomstand microscope here. Again, the uh, the LED ring light is variable intensity. This has got 72 LEDs. Uh, my personal preference would be the dome illuminator. As I said, it's advisable to go to the website. Uh, we have got comparison images taken with both the dome and the stand LED uh, ring light. So this is your extra large boom stand when you're looking at particularly large specimens. Uh, we 
shall we say, like in museums or it's art galleries, art restoration, if you've got a large specimen, completely adjustable. It's on ball bearing race um, heads here and completely adjustable. Now for your stereo zoom heads, we also have optional Barlow lenses. So we have the, the 0.5 Barlow lens and a two times. So these simply screw to the underneath of your microscope and the 0.5, this will reduce your magnification to five times to 22.5 but it also doubles your depth of field uh, likewise we have the two times barlow lens and this doubles your magnification up to 90 times but it also reduces your working distance by 50 percent okay so that's a brief rundown of our asz 400 series stereo zoom microscopes so please visit our websites uh, www.microscopes.com.au and we've got a, uh, a full selection of all the uh, accessories available for this microscope. Okay, thank you.